meant to be with you I don't wanna make you sad All the time just feeling bad Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. This is like for school and anytime like I go out. Also, I don't really know what's happening with my hair. It just looks really bad like this. I'm trying to like do something with it. I don't know. Anyway, it's after school now and I'm going to show you like what I wore today and basically what I've just been like wearing daily because... I don't know, I like watching these videos and I think they're helpful. So I'm gonna be doing that. This makeup routine does not take 20 minutes. It literally took me five minutes. Could have been less this morning because I had to get ready in 15 minutes. So this is really good for if you're running late or if you just wanna have a nice everyday makeup look. Also, my room. I literally moved all of the stuff that was it like making my room messy to where you can't really see it my room's not actually clean just heads up if you want to like kind of do this makeup look too i have oily skin for reference so i'm going to be using products that i feel like work pretty good for my skin i mean i don't know but i have oily skin and it seems to work well for me so yeah let's go ahead and get started i just washed my face because again this is after school so I had made my makeup on, but I start out um, by washing my face in the morning and then using this Biore Witch Hazel toner. And I just put that on like a little cod pad and put it all over my face. And this actually helps my skin so much. Like I break out immediately if I don't use this. Like no joke, my skin has been gotten so used to using this and I love it. And then I will use a moisturizer. And I used to not use moisturizer, but then I realized like it was making my skin worse if I didn't use a moisturizer. Because even though I have oily skin, I need to still be using a moisturizer because if not, it'll just get more oily. So at night, I use the moisture surge, but I don't want that much hydration in the morning because it'll make my skin even more oily. So I really like the Origins moisturizer. And this is actually different from just a regular moisturizer. This is the matte moisturizer with willow herb in it. And so it smells really good and it, it like mattifies my skin. So it's great if you have oily skin. So I just put like a light layer of that on because I don't want too much. You know. And then I'm gonna go on to primer. So I'm gonna start off by using this primer. I actually just recently got this. I've been using it basically every day since I got it. It's the Clarins Instant Poreless Pore Blurring Mattifying Primer. I don't use this all over my face. I just kind of like take some like that and then add it to kind of just like this area. Also, I can do this really fast like when I'm not videoing. I go in with two other primers and you don't have to use this much primer, but I have it and like I need to use it. Also, I feel like it helps keep my makeup on. I go in with the Smashbox Primerizer, which I actually really, really like this stuff, even though I have oily skin. I don't know, it just is like really nice. So I just used two squirts of it and it's like the smaller size. I got it in like a Sephora favorites kit and I love it. And I like actually really want the full size, but I have like more primers that I need to get through before I actually do that. But I would really recommend this primer. This primer that I'm using next is really expensive and, but I got it from Octoly a while ago. And so I got, I did get it for free. So I'm going to use it. You don't have to use a primer that's expensive. Like this is Heck of expensive, but it is a really good primer and it's the Guerlain. I don't know. I want to say it's radiance primer Radiance concentrate with pure gold. It seems like it would work not well with oily skin But I just use one pump and a little bit goes a long way and then I just put it on my face And I don't know it's like such a good primer like I love this primer so much and it's like It's just really good and it's super expensive. It's like 70 something dollars, but honestly low-key worth it like now they have all the primer on it's time for concealer recently i've been using the maybelline better skin concealer and i really like it because it's not like super full coverage at all and it's just like help with acne i don't know how much it like helps it but i use it and i like it so i don't know i kind of use a different amount every day depending on like what i'm feeling but this morning i like barely used any i just kind of dotted it on like so and then i take my wet sponge this isn't very wet right now so i'm just gonna spray it a little bit there's literally just water in this. And then just blend it out quickly. This literally will take two seconds if you're actually in a rush. Like I, I was rushing for so much shit and I got this done so fast. 
in these next couple steps i actually just recently started, started doing what i used to do is powder my face then do bronzer blush and highlight all like powder formula but what i've been doing recently right after i do my concealer is i go in with the milk makeup lit highlighter and it's just a cream highlighter and it's really pretty like it's a really pretty shade and i actually have been liking doing this more recently but i just like put it on my cheekbones and then blend it out and i find this like quicker to do than just than like taking out a powder highlight, grabbing a brush, and then like doing it from there. This you can literally do so easily and quickly, and it's really good for if you're in a hurry. And I really like how it looks. It just adds like a nice glow. And then I go in with the Milk Lip and Cheek Stick in the shade at Work. I love this blush shade. It's so pretty. So I just put a little right there, and then I blend it out with my fingers again. And then I kind of just take whatever is left on my fingers and like go on my nose. And I know it doesn't look really intense on camera and it's like really not that intense But I like to go over with the flat side of my sponge and just kind of blend that out a little bit more Now is when I use powders. I really really like the Laura Mercier powder and I'll just go in with this Maracas makeup brush and just powder my whole face because if not my makeup will melt off I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So I've been really liking just the Hoola bronzer. I used to go in with the Hoola light and then the Hoola, but my makeup routine has changed quite a bit. So I'm just gonna go in with this and I've been liking this technique. So this is a Focalier brush and I actually was sent um, a 10 piece brush kit from Focalier. I did a video like using their stuff like not the too long ago and they sent me more things. So they sent me um, the 10 piece brush kit and I really really like these brushes I've been using them a lot and then they also sent me an eyeshadow palette they also have a setting powder that I really like but I'm I've just been using the Laura Mercier recently so basically what I'll do is just like take some bronzer go on my forehead and like drag it down it's like so quick then I'll put some on my nose lightly dust it like on my eyelids And then that's it for bronzer. It literally takes two seconds. Now I'm going to go in with setting spray. So since my skin is oily, I didn't get the all-nighter spray. I got the Urban Decay D Slick setting spray because it's supposed to like powerful ally against oil and shine. So it works really well. Like I definitely tell a difference when I wear setting spray. Even though I don't have like a ton of face makeup on, it still helps to put it on. Oh gosh. I will take eyebrow gel. And my favorite eyebrow gel is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. It is the only eyebrow gel that has actually like worked for me. Like all the other ones just like don't keep my eyebrows in place. So I just used this one and I think it's definitely worth $22. Even though there's a clear eyebrow gel, it is the only one that actually keeps my eyebrows in place. I need to get a new one. Basically the last step is just mascara so the mascara that i've been really liking is the milk makeup kush mascara this is just the mini size i would get the full size after i'm done with this but i have a lot of mascaras i need to go through also i always curl my eyelashes before i do mascara because if i don't it just looks weird and like i don't know it makes such a difference when i curl my eyelashes Oh my gosh, I literally feel so bad. I just realized none of the stuff in my makeup routine is drugstore. One thing, okay, literally one thing in my makeup routine is drugstore, and I didn't even mean for that to happen. Maybe if you guys want, like, an everyday drugstore routine, let me know, because I'm so sorry. Um, but anyway, the last thing I'm gonna use is lip balm, and this one is so good, because my lips have been so chapped lately since it's winter time. So, I've been using this a lot, and it's the only one that actually, like, helps my lips. So yeah, that is the finished makeup routine. Again, let me know if you want a drugstore makeup routine even though it wouldn't be like my actual drugstore routine since this is like what I've been using. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are a returning subscriber, I'm literally so sorry that I haven't been posting. Like it's been over two weeks since I've posted. So I'm going to try to get this edited as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.